Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Hey, welcome back, YouTubers and Mad Fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. I got some plays for you today out of the Cheese Playbook. If you guys know my channel, if you've been watching this channel for a long time, you know me. I like to know who's still out there. Uh, but this was probably the first playbook that I really went in in Madden 16. It's about two years back. So, like I said, I'd really be interested to see who's out there who's been following me that long. Um, so, if you've never commented in a video and you've been following me for a long time please do i would love love so other than that let's go ahead and let's get into this uh particular formation this is my favorite formation like it's in a lot of different playbooks there's a one play touchdown in it uh natural cover four beater that's not in this playbook um, i'm actually working on one out of the pa slot cross though i uh, hit the like button if you want to see that other than that though this is all about the run formations this play right here the one you're looking at right now the halfback toss strong i divide i i dare you to find this in another playbook because i looked in every damn one and it's not in any other playbook this one play right here i use it in my CFM, my online CFM, and it's just it's just murderous. Like it's such an easy mode run um, to the point where it's like I had to find it in, in a mutt book so I could share it with you guys. I put out a play a little while ago out of the Bills playbook, similar fashion. It was only in one playbook. If this is an alternate playbook, let me know. I'd love to know if it's in an alternate playbook. I don't really go into them too much, but let's go ahead and let's pick this play, and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you some adjustments you can make uh, to make this really successful. This is gonna be part one, but part two is not ready yet. Like I said, I got a one play touchdown that I'm working on. That that will be part two. So if you're on my Patreon, I'm sorry it's not all together, but I want to I want to tweak it. I want to finish it before I put it out. Other than that, it's going to let's, let's match it with random nickel. So real simple adjustments. Nothing really crazy to do here. You run it just like this. I would say uh, since I said this is part one and part two, that's not ready yet. I would motion in hill. Uh, on pretty much every play that you could. Um, realistically though, I would run it, sometimes it's good to just run the play right away. You know what I'm saying? That 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 motion in with Hill is really gonna be beneficial for the one play touchdown because that's what that's the motion that it requires. But realistically, um, it doesn't do much for blocking. You can watch, it could help me on the backside so that nobody comes off the edge, but realistically, it's not gonna help much in the blocking. There, that was actually not the block that I was expecting, but you know what, you can see it's such a dominant blocking formation, I had backup on a failed block. Now I would say it's probably best to run this to the far side of the field, but it's not it's not necessary. But we'll go ahead and we'll do that. So, like I said, if you if you're gonna run this in the scheme, if you watch part two, I'll try to make sure I pop links and all that stuff when that comes out. But if you're gonna run that. Just motion this wide receiver so the play looks uniform. But for now, it's also probably a good idea if you're seeing a lot of man coverages, which is possible, motioning Wilson over to carry that cornerback out of the play is one way to go. You can see it really didn't work there. Uh, but then if you notice it's his own, when you go back, you can always just motion block him just like that. You can see how he gets to that edge. So that motion right there is pretty epic um, determining what coverage it is and it can be helpful. So like I said, if it's if there's a couple different ways you can do this. If, you, if you're setting up a one-play touchdown, just motion at hill. If you're not setting up a one-play touchdown, if you're just trying to use this as a run play, it's I sometimes, like I said, I'll just run it right away so my opponent on defense can't make adjustments. I find that's helpful. Or you can motion this guy over and then motion him back and make him a nice motion blocker. It's really uh, effective. But this type of this motion block going back and forth like this can give the play away. Uh, but like I said, that pulling guard, you can see how epic that is uh, that he sets up this basically home run touchdown play. So really good play so like i said really good setup here um like i said doing this too much though this motioning of the wide receiver can uh, can kind of give away the play but like i said you can also do this in passing plays and it'll give you a really good idea if you're if you're looking at man or zone but most people run zones anyway but you see how the motion block there really got that receiver or not that receiver that corner pinned and it's just an easy play all day but like I said, just running it right out the gate, that really can help you uh, with, with uh, you know, people that are setting up their defense to shut down the run. They can't do that if you just run it right away. So a couple different ways to do it. All of them really good. Um, and then, like I said, for part two, make sure you hit the like button for this uh, for this um, part two one play touchdown. Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll show, there's a couple more good run plays. I'm not gonna run them, but I would say mix these in with the same audibles. Uh, but basically, this power O is pretty nice. Um, I'll, actually, I will show that because there is an adjustment that you have to make to that. Um, so let's go and let's pick that. We'll go random nickel. I'll show a third run play, which makes no adjustments. But this one here, you can make adjustments. So I would say, um, since this is a 3 3 5, it's probably, I would just run it just like this. But if it was any other defense, I would say flip the play. And now you're playing off of your motion. You're playing off your motion either way. You're playing off your motion to Wilson, which I can motion block him into that linebacker, which I'll go ahead and I'll do right here. You can see here, he kind of holds up the spot. Didn't get outside. I got kind of caught up there. But you can see. See how that was effective it got in there 
You can do that same motion with Wilson. You can always flip that toss play and do the same motion with Wilson too. It's up to you. But either way, since if it's a man, obviously that's a bad idea. You're bringing a guy over. But so now that I know that it's a man, I'm going to go ahead and motion him back. And then I'm going to motion Hill into the play. And this is, like I said, a really good way to confuse your opponent. They're not going to know what's going on or what ways what's coming. So we'll go ahead and we'll motion him. Hopefully he can help pick that up. Um, if not, he's on that receiver anyway. And I'm still running over my blockers. But you can see it's, it's effective. 10 yards. Obviously, in this scenario, you don't want to be too to, to the short sideline too, which I constantly do. Doing. So we'll go back to center and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and run this we're gonna do uh, this looks like another zone We're gonna try to do this motion block here and we can hopefully get this edge and you can just see how there's this good blocking. I'm only getting five, but like I said, the, the first play is the home run. This is just a really good play to mix in. I'm not really selling this play. Um, now we got to cover three. I might be drama. I'm not really selling this play um, to be, you know, the uh, the end all be all run play. It's just a really good way to mix it in and confuse your opponent. So let's go ahead and I'll just show you the last play. No adjustments. I'm just going to mention it and then I'm going to end this video proper. Uh, but the, the last play that's pretty good is the uh, the 0 one trap like I said no adjustments I would still make the same motions, you know, you got to play those type of games with people um, But other than that, I mean that's a really good up the gut run. We'll go ahead and we'll run it one time Why not? That's what these videos are about anyway, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and we'll run this you can see here We just get a nice, you know, nice hole right up the gut But like I said keep playing those uh, those type of confusing games motion in this guy You know what I'm saying motion in the uh, motion over Wilson do stuff like that Just to make sure that your opponent has no idea where the ball is going and it's gonna really make them more effective So that's it if you guys want to see more Chiefs do me a favor to like button I'll do that other than that. Thanks for watching Mad Moist shout out